Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. This is something I picked up, I backed on Kickstarter sometime last year. Kind of an impulse backing. Um, Cats and Catacombs. So this was the second one. I'm pretty sure it was the second one. Um, from a company that did uh, the Doggos and Dungeons, or Dogs and Dungeons. Um, the few guys that I got for in my calendar, my hobby calendar at Christmas. So I'm glad I actually backed this one. And you'll see here the different classes. Uh, what are the kind of like Ranger and fighter and uh, monk there and stuff like that so I'm going to get this open and I'm going to see how they kind of they hold up to the dog ones and um, we'll kind of go through just have a, a closer look at them as well and see if I'm happy with my uh, impulse boy. Okay guys so you see on the back here uh, the range is kind of a better better picture of them so you've got yeah you've got bard, fighter, wizard, cleric and all different kind of breeds of cat now the thing is with cats, there's obviously not that much difference between the breeds of cats unless you're talking about a house cat and affecting a tiger or a lion or something like that. But that's why I thought the dog ones might be better just because there's a variety of uh, of breeds and species and sizes and, and uh, coats and that kind of thing. But I'm going to get these open and we'll have a, a closer look at them. Okay guys, so this is them out of the packet and honestly, first look, I'm actually kind of impressed. Uh, if that's going to focus for me. Let me see. Maybe it's the grey plastic. But the detail seems to pop even more. Like that is very cool. It's very crisp detail there. Little armour. What does he got there? He's got something on his tail as well. This guy's a little sneaky guy. He's got some potions. So lots of character just in the pose itself. And the bits and bobs he's got on his back. So that's kind of not focusing for me too well. There you go. Um, so that's him, that's all them versus this 28mm uh, Barbarian here from Reaper. Just to kind of give you a scale idea. I think this is a fighter. So look at that. Look, actually that's that's pretty great. And he's playing with his little blade there. That is really cool. That is clean. Like I'm not seeing much mold, mold lines. But, do you know what I mean? That is nice. Now I haven't had a super good look at them. I literally just opened them. So maybe I'll find some mold lines but... So far that's not bad. One thing that I'm not mad about that I found out with these from the dog versions as well. Their bases are a bit wobbly sometimes. Now he's kind of got a mold line there. His ear here. And just down his arm. Or not his arm I suppose. His, his paw or his foot. Yeah that's not great but that's fixable. It's not too bad. It's hard plastic so it should be fine. Um, just Let me see what kind of class would he be. Is he a thief? Oh, he's one of those cats that have no fur. They were always weird to me. This guy's chunky. I like this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like a big wizard or something. That is great. So he's got fur, but then he's also got this kind of fur coat thing as well. Some feathers and a staff. He is cool. Yeah, they really fit in nice. See, see what I mean? He's kind of got that wobbly base thing going on. It's kind of annoying. It's it's not, it's not perfect, but hey, I think it's pretty good. Uh, there's a ranger, I think. That's pretty cool. Nice. So they do have a lot of character, even in their, their little poses. Like this guy here's got a ca uh, companion here, a little hawk or a crow or a raven. That could be another little wizard. He's got a little book. Yeah, really, really cool. I think, um, I think I, I'm pretty happy with my purchase, yeah. I think this is a cleric. I'm kind of in my own way here with the camera, but... Lots of nice detail there to dry brush with the fur or to pick out. Now this one has a dirty mold line. Look at that. That's pretty bad on the head there. Yeah, that's annoying. It's a pity it's on the head as well because that's kind of, you know, obviously close to the face and you're going to be looking at that a lot um, for the model. It looks kind of like sad or something like that. This little guy, this little lady or whatever. Now I just have some of the dogs here for comparison. So you'll see obviously scale wise they make sense to the dog. The dog guys uh, that I got at Christmas. So, you know, you've got this little chihuahua here, Rogue, if he's going to focus. So, obviously, it's harder to pick out detail here. Uh, just on this colour plastic. But the detail is there. This is easier to see it, I think, on the cats. And this big doggy. I think he's got something on his head there that I need to clean up. But, yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, happy out. This is Necromancer. And he's got a rat there. Two rats? Two rats. I think this could be a Kickstarter exclusive. I think. I could be wrong. 
Um, and I think this is a bard because it's got a harp. Really nice. That's nice detail. Look at that. Crisp. That's awesome. Yeah, these guys are nice. Pity about the one or two mold lines. But look. Could be a lot worse. This is like some kind of knight or paladin potentially. Pretty heavily armoured. Little sword on the back there. Um, or the monk. This is cool. Uh, for a second it kind of reminds me of uh, Daxer from Jack and Daxer. Just the way he, it stood up. Kind of a weird pose but a cat doing um, karate or, or some kind of kung fu. Oh, yeah I can see that working. Or oh, it's got to be a barbarian. Big chunky cat. <laughs> yeah that's cool. And the armour and everything. Nice one. I'm happy out with those guys. Um, really glad I got that. And these these are some cards that came with it. I'm not really sure why, if it's just some artwork or what, but I appreciate them just because you can kind of have a direction then of colour schemes and that kind of potential. Like these two here, like it's a pity you can't get all that character and, and flowing movement and stuff. Um uh, same as the artwork into the miniature, but they did as good as a job as possible, I think. Um I know it's just some kind of sorcerer or maybe warlock or something like that. So yeah, they're pretty sweet guys. Yeah, no, that's just something I said I do a little unboxing. Um and I'll add them to the to the queue of unpainted minis, but I'll get them cleaned up and maybe I'll tackle them along with the dogs. Some really, really nice ones in there actually. Really, really nice little sculpts. So that's them guys, that's cats and catacombs. Um little unboxing for you. And um yeah, I'll catch up with you again. Thanks for watching.